Hello, dear students. I am Assistant Professor Dr. V. D. Jadhav, PG Faculty of Commerce, People's College, Nanded. Today, I am taking lecture on subject Advanced Accounting First, particularly for the come third year fifth semester students who are learning from Swami Ramanand Tirth Maratwada University, Nanded. In this subject, I am taking topic number third, underwriting shares and debentures. In this topic, I am taking fourth numerical question. Before this, already I have taken three numerical questions of this topic. Question number four. This question has answered in the examination October November. Question is the Mina Limited issued for public subscription eighty thousand. Equity shares of rupees one hundred each. The entire issue was under written by. Asha for four percent commission and one percent overriding commission. Asha arranged with Nisha for the underwriting of thirty percent of issue for four percent commission. Underwriter taking. 5% total commission 4% plus 1% from underwriter taking commission 4% with responsibility 30% of the issue shares the shares were payable as follows rupees Twenty on application, rupees thirty on allotment, rupees fifty on first and final call.
the public subscription was only for 50000 shares both asha and nisha fulfilled their obligations later on asha sold 11000 shares at rupees 90 each at the close of period the market value of the shares was rupees 102 the expenses incurred by asha amounted rupees 11500 prepare the under writing accounts in the books of asha solution in the books of of asha shares of meena limited debited Plus incoming shares rupees. Credit side, particular outgoing shares rupees credit side.
solution in the books of asha underwriting account shares of meena limited now i am taking actual solution this is the format of this solution under reading account the meena limited issued for public subscription 80000 equity shares of rupees 100 each the entire issue was underwritten by asha for 4% commission and 1% overriding commission 4% plus 1% is the total commission of underwriter overriding commission is the provision for making sub underwriters commission to give a sub underwriters commission asha arranged with nisha for sub underwriting of 30% issue of for 4% commission here is 4% is the commission of sub underwriter the shares were payable as follows rupees 20 on application rupees 30 on allotment rupees 50 on first and final call you can i am taking working note number 1 underwriter's liability application issued how many applications issued 80000 applications issued let application received from public how many applications received 50000 applications received then balance 80000 minus 50000 balance is 30000 is the underwriter's liability working note taken sub underwriter's liability sub thousand is underwriter's liability as well as shortage what is the part of sub underwriter's liability it is given in question 30% sub underwriter's liability given is 30% hence 30% of shortage how what is the shortage now of 30000 is the shortage liability Thirty percent of shortage. That is nine thousand. Already here, I have calculated shortage. Then number third working note. Underwriters commission.
amount of issued shares how many shares issued 80000 shares issued at the rate rupees 100 yes amount of shares issued is 80 lakh Yes, five percent on eighty lakh. Five percent means four percent commission plus four riding one percent. This is the total commission. Five percent of eighty lakh is four lakh. Under writers commission is four lakh. Then watching note four. So under writers commission Amount of shares issued same eighty lakh. What is the responsibility of seven directors? Thirty percent and thirty percent of the eighty lakh. Thirty percent of eighty lakh, twenty-four lakh. Then what is the commission rate of seven hundred rupees? That is given in question. Four percent commission. Seven hundred rupees, thirty percent of issue for four percent commission. Hence. already i have taken 30% his shares and now 4% commission on 24 lakh like, 4% on 26 lakh 24 lakh is 96000 this is the the writers commission Then working note number five. Cost price per share. Equal to. What is the formula of cost price per share? Total of debits minus total of credits. Except sale amount. Divided by number of shares taken by underwriter. Minus. Number of shares taken by the underwriter total of debits I am solving question I am taking these amounts then 
I mean solve the cost price per share. Okay. So first taking debit side according to the first working note underwriter's liability application is due eighty thousand less application is due fifty thousand shortage of underwriter's liability thirty thousand. Hence thirty thousand is the incoming shares. Bank account. Application money. Thirty thousand into what is the rate of application? Twenty. What is the outer column amount? Six lakhs. This is same for allotment for first and final column. Allotment, allotment money, thirty thousand into thirty. Allotment rate is thirty. Amount nine lakh. The same first and final call. Thirty thousand into fifty. Fifteen lakh. This is the regarding underwriters. In credit side, sub underwriters liability by bank account. Application money. Allotment money, first and final call. Application money, here working note I have calculated sub underwriters liability nine thousand, hence nine thousand. Into twenty amount one lakh eighty thousand outgoing shares nine thousand nine thousand shares taken by the underwriters Common for all three. Allotment money nine thousand into thirty. First and final call. Nine thousand into fifty. Allotment money nine thousand into thirty two lakh seventy thousand. First and final call. 
Mina Limited issued for public subscription 80,000 equity shares of rupees per 100 each. The entire issue was underwritten by Asha for 4% commission and 1% or riding commission. Then, next entry commission issued by underwriter by bank account in bracket 5% commission. Already I have calculated here for keynote under at estimation is 4 lakh the debit side to bank account four percent sub underwriters commission I have calculated here sub underwriters commission also sub underwriters commission 96,000 the next Question as application money, allotment money, final call money. Already I have taken both sides. The public subscription was only 50,000 shares. This one also taken, considered. Both Asha and Nisha fulfilled their obligations. Yes, okay. Later on, Asha sold 11,000 shares at rupees 90 each. Sales, credit side by bank account. In bracket. Sales eleven thousand into ninety amount to be nine lakh ninety thousand. Then next, at the close of period, the market value of the share was rupees 102. The expenses incurred by Asha amounted to rupees 11,500. Asha is underwriter, debit all expenses to bank account in bracket expenses. Expenses amounted to rupees 11,500. The market value of the closing share is 102. Incoming shares total 3000. Sales 11,000. Total of ongoing shares, 20,000. Total of incoming shares, 30,000. 30,000 minus 20,000. Difference is 10,000. That is balance carried down. The balance carried down. Then find out cost price per share. Cost price per share formula I have given total of debits minus total of credits divided by number of shares taken by underwriter minus 
number of shares taken by the underwriter. Again, I am creating total of debit. Total of debit is thirty one lakh seven thousand five hundred. I am putting this amount in a formula. Thirty one lakh seven thousand five hundred minus total of credit except sales. So what is the total of credit? Four lakh plus four lakh fifty thousand plus. Two lakh seventy thousand plus one lakh eighty thousand. Total of credit is thirteen lakh. Thirty-one lakh seven thousand five hundred minus thirteen lakh. Divided by number of shares taken by underwriter. How many shares taken by underwriter? Thirty thousand. Minus number of shares taken by sub underwriter. Nine thousand. Thirty-one lakh seven thousand five hundred minus thirty lakh. Thirty-one lakh seven thousand five hundred minus thirteen lakh. Difference is eighteen lakh seven thousand five hundred. Divided by thirty thousand minus nine thousand. This is twenty-one thousand. One lakh eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. Divided by twenty-one thousand. The amount is. Eighty-six point zero seven one four three. Approximate eighty-six point zero seven. Cost price per share is eighty-six point zero seven. In that question, market value is given one hundred and two. It means cost price or market price, which one is less? That is, cost price is less than market price. Hence, consider cost price. Ten thousand into eighty-six point zero seven. Eight lakh sixty thousand seven hundred. Then create total of credit side. Thirty-one lakh fifty thousand seven hundred. Debit side total is less than credit side. Thirty-one lakh fifty. Thirty-one lakh fifty thousand seven hundred minus thirty-one lakh seven thousand five hundred. Forty-three thousand two hundred is the difference. Forty-three thousand. Two hundred. Now both sides are equal. This difference is the profit transferred to the profit and loss account. Profit and loss account. 
in bracket profit transfer i hope you have understood this question with answer this is the cost price per share this one is the solution Forty three thousand two hundred is the profit. This question asked in the examination, October November two thousand eighteen, from Iran State to Maratwada University, under examination. Thank you.